Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Peinecker, and look who's back in Florida. I just got back late last night from Utah. It was over 100 degrees out there, but it, didn't, it was a very dry heat, so it didn't really bother me at all. I'm back in hot and humid Florida now. So basically, this is actually my very first video that I've been able to tape since we released the Joseph Smith photo video uh, when Lachlan McKay and John Hamer came on. I want to kind of give you a little insider information of basically what all happened and how this all transpired. So basically Thursday night, I reached out to John Hamer because I had my uh, cancellation for my Friday interview. And so I didn't really know what I was going to do last Friday, <clears throat> a week ago, last Friday. And so I was like, uh, somebody recommended to me, he said, why don't you reach out to Lachlan and, and see about maybe getting somebody on to talk about the new Joseph Smith photograph. So I contact John, uh, John Hamer and he reaches out to uh, Lachlan. And, and, and Lachlan seemed to be interested, but then they both got really slammed, which you might imagine. Um, of course, John Hamer designed the John Whitmer Hist Historical Society uh, cover. And Lachlan, of course, co-wrote the paper, um, describing and basically authenticating and creating the, uh, basically giving some pretty solid argument that this is indeed a photograph of Joseph Smith. So uh, it's very interesting stuff. So basically, long story short, Friday afternoon, early, John Hamer says, not going to happen, we're both slammed. And then a couple hours later, he reaches out to me and says, you know what, Steve, he'll be available this evening. I'm like, okay. So then I posted that special preview video, which is at 7.45, but I still hadn't even scheduled the, uh, the interview yet. But I thought, well, they said they're going to do it. I'm going to post it. So I did. Anthony made two great um, thumbnails for both the videos at the last minute. And uh, so that's basically the inside story of how I was able to get them because what happens then at 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time, I get the word from John Hamer, okay, he's ready to go at 8.30. So we're, bo we're all on at 8.30. At 8.35, we start taping. And by 10.15 that night, Eastern Time, the video is posted. Well, folks, that video has gotten over 13,000 videos. It's quickly closing in on 14,000 views in that video. And so it's by far our biggest hit. And uh, it's been really a real boon for the channel. And I want to thank Lachlan and John Hamer for uh, making my channel the very first podcast slash YouTube channel that actually had them on to describe them. And it's the number one video on all of YouTube for Joseph Smith photos. So this will be a video that will be getting views for a very, very long time to come. So a real boon to the channel. <clears throat> so a few things. I got into a Sunstone last week. Long story short, uh, kind of everything got messed up because I got in late. But I actually wanted to let everybody know that I met with a major faithful podcaster last Wednesday, and he's he's a pretty big name. A lot of faithful um, Mormons would be aware of him, and he's interested in coming on my program as well as me coming on his program, so look for that. Then later that night, we actually had a dinner with Sandra Tanner. Uh, it was a special invite-only dinner, which included um, faithful Mormons, ex-Mormons, and Christians, and I had the uh, opportunity to speak. Now imagine the first speaker's Radio Free Mormon, and then I had to follow him up, but we had fun and it was really fun and, uh, and funny as well. So we had a good time. We had a great turnout. I met a lot of people. Everybody knows who I was. That's, that's so wild. And then Thursday morning, I did a two hour interview with John DeLynn and there was a person who gave me a ride who originally was going to leave Randy Bell. He didn't leave the interview. He said, I couldn't leave the room, Steve. He said, and John, he said, this was the, by far the best interview of John DeLynn ever. And so he, had, he really felt it was kind of a privilege to be able to sit in his studio and watch it. So look for that episode to come out in the next week or two. So very exciting. <clears throat> a couple things. Um, I want to talk about the uh, book giveaway that I'm giving for my channel. So I got an extra copy of The Lighthouse, The Jordan Sanders Story. I'm going, I want you to go into the description. I'm going to have a link for my um, uh, email, which is mormonbookreviews at gmail.com. I want you to put into the description book contest and I want you to leave me your name and address and we're going to do a drawing because I have an extra copy via signature books thanks signature books and uh, we'll be doing a book giveaway contest I have um I'll probably give a deadline for probably mid uh, mid August but I'll give you all a deadline just just enter now and then we'll have a deadline down the road I haven't got that all set up um okay Sunstone went really great met a lot of people there uh Hung out with some other uh, influencers, like King Benjamin was there, who's like big on TikTok. Of course, I hung out with RFM. I got to meet the, some of the black, uh, people from the Black Menace and discuss with them about the possibility of them coming on my program. My good friend, Leah Merritt, who's one of the handful of evangelical students at BYU, actually gave me a ride uh, to a few places, and she was really cool. So it was hang fun hanging with her. And of course, Lindsay Hanson-Park, what a great job she did. 
<laughs> there were a lot of issues with a lot of logistics that were going on. I just want to give props to Lindsay for um, allowing me to come to the th uh, things. They comped me because I was the umpire for the softball game on Saturday night between the Exmos and the uh, the fundamentalists or polygamous Mormons, and we had a really, really good time. Went into extra innings, and uh, the um, higher law beat outer darkness nine to eight in extra innings. Uh, so again, we have the, the book giveaway for Lighthouse. I also want to remind everybody that you can support our channel in, uh, in the links will be in the description via Patreon, PayPal, um, as well as those of you who would like to support our channel via the merch store. You can buy some cool hats and shirts. Anthony ran a poll the other day regarding uh, what are your favorite items. Uh, maybe participate in that in our community page. But also check out Mormon Book Reviews at uh, mormonbookreviews.com. That's our merch store. Don't forget, also, we're available on Apple and Spotify. So that's the latest. we got some great videos coming up this week. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, you all have yourself a great day.